Hello and welcome to a windy week 14. As you can see behind me, the painters have been putting up the cling film because they are going to be painting, spray painting the 545 all grip undercoat on top of the deck. And it seems that this week we just can't keep up with our workers because we've been making a lot of progress. Sometimes things take you by surprise. On Saturday morning, we were told the head painter would be applying all grip 545 primer on parts of the deck that won't be finished in non-slip paint. This was news to us since there's still much preparation of the deck to do. We are learning, however, that it can be quicker to do the odd job as and when it can be done, rather than waiting for each job to be completed before moving on to the next one. Most of the fairing is now complete. However, construction on the cockpit box has only just begun. A honeycomb base has been added to either side of the companionway. Meanwhile, those cockpit boxes, whose lids we rearranged last week, have been filled with micro-balloon epoxy, which allows the lads to shape the box exactly by sanding back the corners. Eventually, the boxes are placed in position and in order to counter the slope of the deck, have had their bases chamfered to follow the contour of the deck. The bases will then be contoured and shaped to give a curved finish and in order to do this, the deck has to be ground back to fiberglass to provide a strong bond. You may be wondering why we're adding boxes to the back of our boat and spoiling those lovely, clear, clean lines of Esper's rear. Well, those two boxes provide a practical purpose and the first uh, box we use to put Liz's fishing gear in and the second box we use to put our uh, drogue anchor chain and spare rope in. And in fact, we're going to be adding a deck shower to one of the boxes as well. So they do serve a practical purpose. And uh, when they're finished, they shouldn't look half bad. Goy, the head painter, comes over and regularly inspects each piece to be painted to ensure the finish his team end up with meets our expectations. In our blog last week, we said we'd be adding a bit of colour. If you follow us on Facebook, you'll have seen the laminated green door and here we can see Ton applying epoxy to the door before laying this rather splendid colour on top. Ton smooths out the bumps and applies a heavy weight on top to secure the laminate. Congratulations to Christos, by the way, who correctly identified the head doors on our Follow the Boat Facebook page. Here you can see the detail of a freshly veneered door and a refitted handle. That's been polished and buffed by May, who has been working her way through every nut, bolt, hinge and handle with soapy water and bottle of Brasso. And here's the first door to be hung back up on Esper. Finally, I've been looking at our new tap for the rear heads and the necessary plumbing for the new deck shower. Unfortunately, Thai plumbing pipes will not fit our old Acorn system. So that's another order to be sourced and shipped from the UK.